We are starting the tour here on deck three. We are in the aft of the ship, so we're more towards the back. There's not too much to see here on the back of deck three, but there is one important venue, and that is the bottom floor of the main dining room. Now here on Allure of the Seas, you do have three floors on decks three, four, and five, and each dining room floor has a different name. So American Icon, you're gonna recognize this actually from other ships, the Quantum Class ships have dining rooms that are called this, but this is the entrance to deck three. So on your sea pass card, you're gonna see decks three, four, or five, and if you are on deck three, you are gonna be on the American Icon um, dining room deck. This is just the bank of elevators here. And this is really the only thing on deck three, but we are gonna jump over to the forward because there is another section of the ship here on deck three that I wanna show you. So let's head over there. So we've jumped on over to the forward bank of elevators on deck three. Now in between the elevator banks, there are staterooms, but over here you do have the conference center. So if you're coming on Allure of the Seas and you are here on potentially a business work or for meetings, you are gonna find the conference center here on deck three, again, more towards the forward of the ship. So you have, of course, a concierge check-in over there, and then through those doors are going to be the conference center. And that is it for deck three. We are now on deck four, and again, we are in the forward bank of elevators. Now, deck four starts the neighborhoods. Of course, this is an Oasis-class ship, so you do have neighborhoods on the ship. This neighborhood is called Entertainment Place, and this is because this is where all the fun and the action happens um, on the inside of the ship. Now, you do have Amber Theater right here. This is, of course, where Allure of the Seas is going to have the full two and a half hour production of Mamma Mia, as well as your headliner acts. Let's go inside and check that theater out. The Allure of the Seas Theater is very similar to the other Oasis class theaters. Um, they do have a Broadway style show here. They do Mamma Mia here in 2021. It's an absolutely amazing show. You cannot miss it. You're also going to have headliner acts here, comedian, and a variety of other shows um, that you just cannot miss. It's a great venue that you're going to want to spend some time in on your vacation. And you got to come and check out the Amber Theater here on Allure of the Seas. Coming out of the theater, you are going to have bathrooms on the left-hand side and right-hand side. Now, the women's is going to be to the left. The men's is going to be down that corridor to my right. And then as we walk into this main entertainment place area, this is gonna be where you're gonna have all different kinds of venues for entertainment. We've got comedy, we've got live music, we have of course the casino down here, but let's start right away on my left and this is going to be Jazz on Four. Now, if you've been on an Oasis class ship, this is gonna be a very standard venue that you're gonna find on all of these. It does look very different. You're gonna notice that this um, ship has not gone through any type of amplification. So this is really the OG of the OGs um, in terms of what the Oasis of the Seas used to look like before her amplification. Um, but this venue is going to have live jazz music every single night. You see a grand piano there, a drum set. The music in here is phenomenal. If you enjoy jazz, this is definitely gonna be a place that you're gonna wanna come, sit, have a cocktail, and take in some live music. Now, of course, right there, you do have a staircase that will take you up to the Royal Promenade. We'll get up there in a little bit, but that is going to be um, you know, your main entrance point up there. And then over here, you do have Blaze. Blaze is going to be the nightclub on board. Step inside here really quick. So this is again going to be the area where you're gonna be able to come and hang out with friends. They do have a big dance floor here. There is a bar. And again, this is called the Attic on other Oasis class ships, but it is Blaze here and it is very unique compared to some of the other venues that you're gonna find on other Royal Caribbean ships. Now, as we come out here, right across from Blaze, you do have a separate venue for comedy. So this is gonna be Comedy Live, and this will be where the comedians will be. Now, I will say they've changed this up on the other Oasis class ships. I think that's because they have found it to be a little small. Um, comedy does sell out really quickly on these ships. I hope when they take into effect what they're gonna do for Wonder of the Seas, they make the comedy spaces a little bit bigger. Um, but this is a cool club. It's of course gonna be where you're gonna have all different types of comedy throughout your cruise here on deck four. As 
we continue to walk out here, you do have Studio B. Studio B is going to be the ice skating rink on board. So this will be where you're going to be able to see those ice shows. Here on Allure of the Seas, they do have an ice show called Monopoly. It's really, really fun. It's kind of retro throwback, and it does take you to different areas of the ship here on the ice skating rink. So I do recommend you come and catch an ice show when you're on board Allure of the Seas. Hello. Walking around here, you do have the art gallery. So the art gallery is going to be positioned in this hallway that will be between all of those entertainment venues and Casino Royale. The art gallery on board is, of course, Park West, which is going to be very standard on most cruise ships. Um, if you are an art collector, this is going to be the place you're going to want to come and talk to some of the art experts on board Allure. Lots of very cool art throughout the ship. Then this, of course, is going to be Casino Royale. Now, they do not allow filming on board the casino um, here on Allure of the Seas. So we're going to jump over to the other side of the casino, but just know that it is located here on deck four behind Studio B as you're walking from Entertainment Place more towards the aft of the ship. So follow me as we go across the casino to the other side of deck four. We have jumped over to the other entrance of Casino Royale. So you do have entrances on both sides. We are now towards the back of the ship in the aft elevator banks. And right away you are going to have the Grand. So this is going to be the fourth level of the main dining room. So if you are on uh, dining room level four, the Grand is going to be where you're going to be enjoying your dinner. Um, you do have actually a door down there that is going to be an exit from the dining room as well. So that, that's a little bit unique and a little bit different here on Allure of the Seas. Um, if you need a quick exit from your dinner, <laughs> you're going to be able to get out of the door right there. Now, of course, again, they do have bathrooms here on the left and right hand side. On the left hand side, you do have the men's bathroom. On the right, you do have the ladies. And then tucked back away here, you do have Izumi. This is going to be one of the specialty restaurants on board. They do have a hibachi experience on here as well as a sushi bar. So we'll step in here and just take a look really quick. So on the right hand side, you do have that, like I said, hibachi experience. So if you do want some your hibachi fix when you're on a lure, you'll have that. And then over here, you do have the sushi bar. Azumi is a great restaurant. We've been here multiple times on different ships, so it's nice that it's here on Allure as well. And that is deck four. We are now just up one deck on deck five, again, more towards the aft. Um, right away, you do have Silk. Now, Silk is going to be the fifth level of the dining room, um, and this is where we're gonna go inside and just take a quick look at the dining room. So again, dining room is on three, four, and five, American Icon, Grand, and Silk. Now these are definitely some of the largest dining rooms at sea. And of course, in the middle, you do just have an absolutely massive chandelier. Let's take a look at that down there. You can see it's a pretty standard dining room, but again, it is quite large. As we walk out here, you're going to notice entrance and exits to the actual outer deck on deck five here. And that is because the running track is located down here on deck five. That is something that's very unique to these Oasis class ships. Um, because most other cruise ships have the running track on the top deck. But here, you can see an entrance and exit right there, as well as an entrance and exit over here. Now again, bathrooms are located on either side of the dining room, so you're going to have that on all decks, three, four, and five. And now we are walking into the Royal Promenade. The Royal Promenade is going to be the main center of the ship. This is kind of where you're going to have a lot of different food venues, bars, tons of shopping. The Royal Promenade is definitely the heartbeat of the Oasis class ships. We're going to take you all around and look at all the different venues. Now right away here we do have a champagne, champagne and martini bar. 
On other Oasis class ships, this is going to be where the bionic bar is. So you have those robot bars, but here they still have a champagne bar. Now something that is interesting about this bar that you may not know is they've actually removed the traditional champagne menu and just replaced it with a very standard bar. So just know that if you come here on Allure and you're looking for some champagne, they may have it, but this is gonna be just a standard bar with your standard drinks. It's really not a specialty bar. Across from that, you do have a seating area as well as regalia watches. And I do just have to point out that here you also do have your port and shopping desk. So if you are looking to talk to an, a shopping expert on board, um, let's say you're looking for a very specific type of jewelry or watch, the shopping manager will be here and you can always sign up to have a spot with them to get some help. They're really, really helpful on the ships. As we continue to walk around, you're going to notice this large open circular space with the waterworks. This is the rising tide bar. So this is the bar that does move up and down between decks five and decks eight. And something that we love that isn't on all the other Oasis class ships is the fact that they do have a massive fountain here in the middle. We think that is so cool. <laughs> As we walk around the rising tide bar, you are going to have guest services. So of course, this is gonna be where you're gonna come if you have any issues while you're on the ship. And then we do, of course, have Cafe Promenade. Cafe Promenade is going to be your 24-hour eatery. This is gonna be open the entire time you are on your cruise. I recommend checking out the coconut cookies, but they have small bites, sandwiches, cookies, and desserts, as well as coffee, tea, and water. Now, as we continue to walk around here, we cannot miss Michael Kors. This is, of course, gonna be one of the most infamous shopping venues here on Deck 5. You do have stairs down to Casino Royale or up to the Focus Photo Gallery. However, right now, the stairs going down are closed. Um, so you can't actually get down to deck four there. You do have to go to either end of the promenade. You do, of course, have Next Cruise, which is gonna be where you're gonna be able to book your next vacation when you are on board here, the Allure. And as we continue walking, you do have a Kate Spade shop. So another great bag store for you. And then next to that, you are going to have the Bowen Stern. The Bowen Stern is going to be um, Allure's version of their English pub. So this is gonna be a place where you're gonna be able to come and find some great live music, some craft cocktail beers, as well as some delicious beverages. I do love the pictures in here. I think that the theming of this, uh, this pub is potentially one of my favorites. Right across from the Bowen Stern, you do have Sorrento's. This is, of course, going to be the standard pizza place that you're going to find on most Royal Caribbean ships. On these Oasis class ships, it is huge. Something that is different here on Allure is you do have an actual full bar. Um, they don't have this on all the Oasis class ships, but if you do need a beverage, you got one right there. You have more seating for Sorrento's here. And then you're going to notice all these kiosks in the middle. This is going to be additional shopping places that will spill out of the stores during the evenings for special sales. So things like $5 sales, $10 sales, maybe a bag sale or a watch sale will happen here in the middle of the Royal Promenade. You have a lot more shops here. You do, of course, have Port Merchants, which is going to be your liquor and cigarette and cigar shop on board. Solera Beauty, which is going to be where you're going to find those fragrances. They also do sell additional things like bags, makeup, and of course, like that sign says, all of the shopping here on board is of course tax and duty free. There is the other regalia shop. So they do have regalia watches and then regalia jewelry on board here. As we continue walking, you're gonna notice these two trees, again, very unique to the allure of the seas. Um, just some really cool theming. Can't forget the Royal Caribbean brand shop. So you do have the shop, which is gonna have all your Royal Caribbean gear, your ship model. Looks like they've got backpacks, shirts, a lot of different shopping that you can do right there. You've got Starbucks in the middle. So that's the kiosk that you're looking at straight on there. And then over here is Boleros. Now Boleros is going to be the standard bar that you're gonna find on a lot of Royal Caribbean ships. This is their Spanish or Latin inspired bar. Another venue that you're going to have a lot of live music at and a lot of really great Latin dancing. So if you are into the live Latin music and dancing, Boleros is going to be the bar that you will come and check out here on Allure of the Seas. Of course, there again is Starbucks. And right across from Starbucks is On Air. This is gonna be the karaoke bar on board. 
you do have a full service bar in here and then they do also have a lot of different activities so things like trivia game shows that will happen here as well there's a stage in here that is a change from some of the other oasis class ships that might not actually have a stage and have a little bit more seating there are stairs to get down to deck four right here and then of course you do have the forward elevator banks with the upper level of the amber theater so again that amber theater like we saw was two decks deck four and deck five and this is your upper deck uh, upper deck theater you again have got two entrances to the running track so of course you can get out to the running track over there or over here along with more bathrooms um, it is good because this theater is massive that they do have several bathrooms outside the theater and that is deck five we are now in the forward of deck six i do just want to show you that over here you do have a great lookout point over the royal promenade um, now something to note is you can't walk directly across um, over the Royal Promenade, you do have to either go through the staterooms or go up or down um, to deck, deck five and then walk across to get over to the aft section of deck six, which we'll get over there in a little bit. Um, you do have these fun little lookout points throughout the ship. Uh, each one has a different picture, it's kind of fun. Um, let me know in the comments if that's the type of thing that you like to see on cruise ships and if you actually take part in seeking them out and looking through them. But here at the forward of Deck 6, we do have the Vitality at Sea Spa. So this is going to be where your spa as well as your gym will be. We're going to walk back here and just take a quick look at the gym. Now you do have Vitality Cafe here. This is gonna be a place where you can get specialty smoothies, protein smoothies, as well as they do have fresh juices. Um, what's great is if you do have diamond drinks, you can actually use those here. Um, you do have the salon, which is going to be a place where you can of course go to get your hair or your nails done. Um, they've got a barber shop back there as well. And then this is gonna be your little shopping area. So these kiosks are actually for all of the different products that they might use on the treatments that you're, that you're gonna get here in the Vitality Spa. And if you wanna purchase those, you can do that here on deck six. Now, of course, you are going to have your check-in desk here and then the thermal spot is going to be on the right. So we are gonna go over to the gym. So we're gonna walk back here, give a little waiting area right out here. And these gyms on the Oasis class ships are just so impressively large. Now as we walk in here, you are immediately to my right going to have a little workout room. So you see that workout space in there? And then they do have a lot of different types of workout, pieces of workout equipment. Um, they do have private consultation stations immediately when you walk into the gym. So if you do want to work with someone like a private trainer, you want to get an assessment on your health and fitness, you can do that here on board. They have a bathroom right there. And we'll go ahead and walk around to see the rest of the gym. You have a towel station right here, another area for classes. And they really do have everything here in this gym. You can see it's pretty empty today. We are actually at a port today. Um, so you aren't gonna have as many people working out as you normally would. But you can definitely catch some great views through those portholes. You do have a weight station, so you do have full sets of weights. And then one additional thing that I do just wanna point out very quickly is that you do have an entrance and exit to the jogging track. Now that is closed right now and that is a pandemic change and um, we noticed this on some of the other Oasis class ships as well. So during this time of 2021, that's not going to be open, but we do assume that that will be open again in the future. So this is really great. They've not allowed me to do this on other Oasis class ships, but this is going to be the thermal suite area as well as the area where you're going to come back for massages or special treatments. So there is, of course, a staircase here with a giant tree. Oh, this is very, very cool. This is different from Symphony of the Seas and some of the other Oasis class ships. We're gonna go ahead and walk down here. 
So this is the thermal spot here on Allure of the Seas. Um, you notice it's actually quite small. Um, you do only have four of these beds and then you do have multiple different rooms. So of course you do have a tropical rain shower room. Um, you do have a caldarium steam room. That's gonna be like your, your sauna, your wet sauna. You have a dry sauna there. And then you do have an aroma steam chamber as well as another rain shower. And there is your towel station. So that is gonna be the thermal suite here on Allure. Um, of course, down these hallways, you do have a number of other treatment rooms. So if you were coming here for a massage or for, you know, any type of other private treatment, you would come down here, um, just walk down those steps here at the very front of actually deck five. We are here in the aft elevator bank on deck six. So we have just jumped over to the other side of deck six. So you've got the gym and spa in the front. And then now we are towards the back. Now here, walking towards the Royal Promenade, you are going to have the schooner bar. So the schooner bar is, of course, going to be very standard on your different Royal Caribbean ships. As you walk into the schooner bar, you do have the loyalty desk right here. So this is the Crown and Anchor Society desk. If you're someone that takes a lot of Royal Caribbean cruises and you have any questions about your loyalty status or where you, uh, where you may sit with Royal Caribbean, you can always come here and ask. And as we come into the schooner bar, of course, this is going to be another venue with a lot of live music. So you are going to see that grand piano there. And then they do have a lot of seating and a bar. You can see that waterworks going underneath the uh, <laughs> rising tide bar. Now on the other side, you're going to have some important desks that you definitely are going to want to utilize while you're here. Of course, the first being is the shore excursion desk. That is going to be the area where you're gonna come and book all of your land adventures. So if you're coming here and you're wanting to book some type of excursion, that will be up here towards the aft of the ship on deck six. And then they do have the Focus Photo Gallery. So we are gonna see, this is kind of an older ship, so they're gonna have both. They're gonna have printed pictures as well as kiosks, but the kiosks are limited in terms of being able to actually pull up all the different pictures that you've taken here on the ship. But it's good to see them making the transition. Um, you know, when they print the pictures, that is quite a bit of wasted paper. But tell me in the comments what you think about that. Do you prefer to see your pictures printed out or do you mind using the touch screen? This is actually quite large. As we're walking up here, you are going to have that desk where you can actually make the purchase for your physical pictures. Um, and they do sell additional things here as well, such as cameras, photo frames. Looks like they might sell water bottles. Uh, so come up here definitely to the Focus Photo Gallery and check out what they have. You can buy GoPros up here. Um, and then of course you do have an awesome lookout point to the Royal Promenade and then that spiral staircase to get down to deck five for easy access. Now, walking back out through the photo gallery, we are going to get to another one of those neighborhoods here on board Allure. It is one of my personal favorites. You're gonna find it on all the Oasis class ships. And that is of course going to be the boardwalk. So the boardwalk is found all the way back at the back part of deck six. And this is gonna be again, another place with um, entertainment, dining, as well as some great drinks. I will say this, this boardwalk is the most different boardwalk from all other Royal Caribbean ships. And I am gonna say something that might be controversial. It feels like an actual boardwalk. So you come out here and you do have all of these really fun mirrors, just like you would see at like your county fair. And then the crowning jewel of the boardwalk is of course the carousel. So this is an actual real working carousel. They have these on all the Oasis class ships. Now to my left, you are going to have the Boardwalk Doghouse. That is going to be a fast casual restaurant that is free. That's gonna have things like hot dogs. And then to my right, this is a venue that they've actually done away with on the other Oasis class ships, but they have Boardwalk Donuts. Um, so this is gonna be a place where you can come and get donuts. I will say that the hours are very, very limited. It's not open very frequently, so check on your um, cruise calendar to see when it will actually be open when you are here, because it's gonna be a place you're not gonna wanna miss. Now, as we walk around, you do have pinwheels. This is gonna be a shop. 
Candy Beach, which is going to be another shop. So that's going to be your sweets and candy shop. And then you do have Star Pier. So it's three shops in a row. Pinwheels, Candy Beach, and Star Pier are all going to be the shopping that you're going to be able to do here on board. And across from that, you do have the arcade, and then you do have Cups and Scoops. And Cups and Scoops is going to be your ice cream place on board. Um, this is ice cream for an extra charge. But we'll just take a quick peek in there really quick. They do have Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And again, that is going to be for an upcharge there. We'll also just take a, a quick peek inside the arcade. So this is definitely very small, but this is not gonna be the only arcade that you're gonna have on board. So there's just gonna be a few games here. Looks like you do have some, uh, some bowling. So they've, they've definitely put a lot of venues here on this particular boardwalk. You do have Johnny Rockets, that's gonna be in the same place as all the other Oasis class ships. Um, that is an upcharge, but it is a really inexpensive upcharge. It is only $10 for all you can eat Johnny Rockets hamburgers and fries. Who doesn't love all you can eat cheese fries? Now this venue is not on all the Oasis class ships. It is only on Allure and Harmony of the Seas. This is Sabor. This is going to be um, the Mexican restaurant. So if you do need to get your Mexican fix, I definitely recommend checking it out. Now something that not a lot of people know is this bar here, you can just walk in and get a bar. It's a margarita bar. The avocado margarita is the best thing on board. It is our absolute favorite and you can use your diamond drinks for it. So if you are diamond or above, you get free drinks every day, not unlimited, but four free drinks every day and it is a place where you can grab an avocado margarita. Now here's going to be another bar. This is going to be more of a general bar. They're not going to have the specialty margaritas that the Sabor bar will have. On the right hand side of that bar, you do have this play place, which is kind of styled to be an old western um, town, which I think is really cool. And then right behind this is going to be the Aqua Theater. Now this is going to be another one of the performing spaces on the ship. And this is so unique to the Oasis class ships. Um, you can see down there, there is a large body of water. They're doing a lot of cleaning today, but um, this is gonna be where you're gonna have a dive show. And on this ship, it is called Ocean Aria. It's very unique and it's so cool. You have to come, you do need to make reservations once you are aboard the ship, and we highly recommend checking it out. Now also back here at the back of the ship, you do have rock climbing. So you're gonna have two different rock climbing walls. I'm standing underneath one of them. Um, I'm standing underneath rock climbing wall number two, but what you're looking at right now is rock climbing wall number one. So if you are interested in rock climbing, that's gonna be back here all the way towards the back of the ship. This is just a great place to come and take in some views. We are here today in Honduras and we have the celebrity reflection parked right in front of us. So let me know in the comments what you think of this particular boardwalk. Like I said, it is different from some of its other sister ships. We really like it, but I wanna hear from you. Are you a fan of this boardwalk or do you prefer the more updated Symphony of the Seas boardwalk? We have now made it up a couple of decks to deck eight. We are on the aft or the back of the ship here on deck eight. Now right away, I do just wanna show you that there are men's and women's bathrooms here on the aft on the right hand side of the elevator banks. So you're gonna be able to find those bathrooms right back there. Um, but there is a venue here on deck eight called Dazzles. Now Dazzles is going to be um, a venue where again, you're gonna have live music during the evenings. It's two stories, so it does span decks eight and deck nine, and you do have a full service bar back here as well. Um, I'm gonna get over here so you can really get a good view of this space. It is really, really a nice space. So again, you see a lot of seating and you do have a staircase to get up to deck nine. Walk up here so you can see the top part of this venue. You can tell that this is a little bit dated in terms of what it looks like compared to the dazzles on some other ships. Now on Oasis of the Seas, they did actually turn this space into 
Music Hall. We have a full tour of that. You can go ahead and click that link. But um, that is one of the only Oasis class ships that did do something very different with this venue. Take a walk down here. And this is really only the beginning of deck uh, eight because there is so much to see on deck eight. You do have another neighborhood here um, that again, is just such a cool innovative neighborhood. It's found on all of the other Oasis class ships. So let's go through these doors and check it out. As we walk out here, I do just wanna point out that they do have these um, floating dresses in the aft set of the elevator bank. So that's something different, but you know, on these Oasis class ships, they've done something different um, in terms of the art. And this particular ship has these floating dresses, which is, which is interesting and unique. Now we're gonna walk through the elevator bank here and we're gonna come out to Central Park. There's another one of those set of binoculars. Central Park is of course, another amazing neighborhood here on board Allure. Um, now this Central Park, again, some of the, the areas of the ship do have my favorite things that I've seen in terms of what a neighborhood has to offer. Um, so we're going to see that here, but I do just want to start out by pointing out 150 Central Park. Now this is going to be a specialty restaurant that is the same on all four Oasis class ships. We absolutely love 150 Central Park. If you have not been here, we highly recommend going for dinner. It is a much more upscale and formal restaurant. And it does look fairly similar to some of the other 150 Central Parks that are found on the other Oasis class ships. Now we do have the Rising Tide Bar actually up here. So we did see where the, the waterworks was. Um, you can see right through this glass that this is a full service bar. So this does actually move up and down every 30 minutes throughout the day. When it's open, it's not always open. It's not technically open right now. And then we're gonna walk around this way because you do actually have another specialty dining venue that we gotta point out. This is gonna be Chops Grill. Chops Grill is going to be the steakhouse on board Allure of the Seas. Of course, Chops is the signature steakhouse throughout the Royal Caribbean fleet. Um, it's very standard here on Allure as well. I'll just take a quick peek inside here. This is again gonna be another formal restaurant, but they do have steaks and delicious food here at Chops. Walking back out here, you can see Chops does come, it spills over to the outside as well. So if you are eating at Chops, you can have dinner inside the restaurant or here on the outside. Walking around the rising tide. And this is what I wanna showcase here in terms of what I think is cooler on this ship than any other um, Central Park that I've been in, and that's the living wall. The living wall here on the Allure of the Seas is epic. We were just on Symphony of the Seas a few weeks ago, and this living wall kind of looks like a, a wall of grass, but here it actually looks like a living wall of draping plants. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, before we go any further, we do have the trellis bar. This is gonna be, again, another bar that you're gonna be able to come to and enjoy a drink. You have absolutely beautiful greenery everywhere. Some interesting art. Glass birds, those are cool. And then as we continue to walk up here, you are gonna have Park Cafe. Park Cafe is going to be another free, included, fast, casual restaurant. This is gonna be where you're gonna be able to get things like sandwiches, salads, soups. Um, it is open throughout the day. For lunch, it actually stays open until 6 p.m. They have a hand washing station right outside the restaurant. They do ask that you wash your hands before you go in. And then lots of seating out here on Central Park. Now, right across from Park Cafe, you do have Giovanni's Table. Giovanni's Table is going to be, again, another specialty restaurant here on board. This is gonna be your Italian restaurant. So if you need to get your Italian fix, you can come here for an upcharge and do so. And then right next to, of course, the Italian restaurant is well-placed vintages. <laughs> this is gonna be the wine bar on board. So if you are a wine lover or a wine connoisseur, Vintages will be the place that you will want to check out. Just pop in here really quick. You 
You can see they have some nice seating here, as well as that wine bar right there. And then we're gonna walk over to the other side to get the last couple of venues here. You do have a coach shop on board. So of course, if you do wanna buy those coach bags, you can do that. You have your third regalia store. So this is called Regalia at the park. And then the picture of this portrait studio. So if you do wanna come and work with a professional photographer on board to get some pictures, you can do that here at Picture This. Um, this is unique because this particular photo studio is not placed in the Central Park District on other ships. But here, that's where it's gonna be. It's kind of tucked away, so thank you for watching this tour. Now you're gonna know where you're gonna be able to get those professional pictures done. Um, I do love these little alcoves here, so you're gonna be able to sit and enjoy a beautiful sunny day here in Central Park. And then as we walk into the forward bank of elevators, you are gonna have a set of bathrooms. And this is what I really wanted to point out. So right through this door, you're obviously going to be led into a hallway that will have staterooms. But this is important to know because these bathrooms are really tucked away back here on deck eight. So again, the forward bank of elevators, you walk through this little hallway and that's where you're gonna find those bathrooms. And that is deck eight. We are now on the aft side of deck 11, and this is gonna be a little bit different from other Oasis class ships in terms of what you'll find up here on deck 11. There's two venues, the first being the library. I'm gonna just peek inside really quick here, but you're gonna notice that they do not actually have any books in the library. Um, they've removed those due to COVID, so you can't actually um, rent out any books here during this time. And then you do have the Diamond Club. So of course, this is a loyalty status um, room. If you are diamond or above, you're gonna be able to use the Diamond Club, which is right through there. It is open for only a specific set of hours, and it does actually span this deck 11, and it goes up a deck on 12. So that's gonna be the uh, Diamond Club. And then this, of course, looks out over the beautiful Central Park. And this is going to be the only thing you're gonna find here on deck 11. Deck 11 is only staterooms from here. We are now in the aft of deck 14. There's not much on deck 14, especially on this side of the ship. Um, it's mostly staterooms. 12 is all staterooms and there is no deck 13. So we jumped up from 11 to 14 here just to show you this room called Seven Hearts. Now this is just going to be actually your card room. So if you wanna come and play some cards or play a game, the card room is up here on deck 14. Um, now the room is actually being utilized a lot on this cruise ship. There's quite a few people in there right now, so I did just kinda of wanna point out where it was. We're not gonna actually go in there, but there's quite a bit more on the other side of deck 14. So we'll jump over there next. Now I have jumped over to the other side of deck 14, so we are now more forward of the ship um, because this is gonna be where Adventure Ocean will be. So this will be the place that you will bring the kiddos if mom and dad would like a fun day at sea for themselves. Um, right away as you come into Adventure Oceans, you do have an arts and crafts room. So this is gonna be a room specifically for arts and crafts. On other Oasis class ships, that is actually used as an escape room. So that is a difference here on Allure of the Seas. And then it does look like some of these facilities are currently closed, but as we walk around here, you do have the Babies and Tots program. Lots of fun murals on the walls. And then you do have bathrooms for ladies and bathrooms for gents. And then back here, the rooms do continue on. So you do have the Imagination Studio you have Aquanauts for ages three to five. And then on the other side, you do have the Adventure Science Lab and the station for Voyagers, which is nine to 11. And of course the station for Explorers, which is six to eight. Um, so lots of different rooms. They have the different ages divided up back here. I, I know that Adventure Ocean has not been open much in 2021, but it is starting to open up and they are open here on Allure of the Seas. Um, so if you're thinking about taking a vacation and want to bring the kiddos along and be able to drop them off while mom and dad have some fun, 
you can definitely do that here on deck 14 in the forward. Now there is something else that is really unique on this ship that we do just have to show you. Deck 14 also has a sun deck. So we are definitely gonna walk out to check that out. It's definitely hidden. You have to walk through these staterooms to get there. So come up to 14, get off of the elevators in the forward deck, and then you're gonna be able to check out the sun deck all the way at the front of the ship. This also has some really cool lookout points that you're not gonna get on other parts of the ship. There's a couple of steps up here. And it does look like they do not have seating available up here, but they do have these wings that you can come up and stand up and look out. And you can even get an awesome view of those hot tubs that hang over the side of the ship and see the solarium. I mean, how cool is this? It would be pretty difficult to know that this was here um, unless you really did some exploring of the ship. We are now on deck 15 and we are still towards the back of the ship, but deck 15 does wrap around the entire ship. So let's take a walk around deck 15. Um, now before we get outside, this is gonna be your main pool deck. I do wanna show that the main arcade, the Challenger, uh, Challenger's Arcade is going to be up here on 15. So we did see that little arcade on the boardwalk this is gonna be a much larger arcade with a lot of your very favorite arcade games that you see on most other cruise ships, especially Royal Caribbean ships. Um, so the arcade's pretty updated here, even though this is an older ship. That prize hub is right there. And then you do get your tickets for the games right here in this kiosk. Right across from the arcade, you are going to have Breeze. Now Breeze is gonna be another shopping venue that's going to have beach and pool supplies. So if you need things like aloe, if you spend a little bit too much time in the sun, you're gonna be able to purchase that here. They also do have cover-ups, hats, sunglasses, and more. Um, this is obviously not open right now because we are docked at port, but Breeze up here on deck 15 will get you all of the needs that you may have forgotten at home in terms of swimming supplies. Now we're gonna start by walking more towards the back of the ship. There is a cafe up here that is not found on any of the other Oasis class ships, and that is Wipeout Cafe. Um, this is gonna be really quick eats. They do have pizza up here, as well as some additional different light bites and snacks. For this sailing right here, we are in November of 2021. It is open from two o'clock to six o'clock. So it looks like pizza, hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, and ice cream here at Wipeout Cafe. So again, fast casual food, it is included and it's all the way at the back of the ship. Now before we continue to walk around, you do have an eating spot here for Wipeout Cafe. So this is gonna be the place where you'll be able to um, eat those quick snacks. And then something else that's unique that's back here is ping pong. So there's two different areas for ping pong. There's two tables right here, and then you are gonna have two tables on the other side as well. Um, but if you do need to get your ping pong fix in, that's gonna be where you're going to come up here and play on deck 15. This is technically the sports deck, so of course you do have basketball. You have a fully fledged basketball court here. And then as we walk around to the wraparound, this is where you're going to find the flow riders. Um, now, if you have not been on a flow rider before, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It is a surfing simulator. It is free to try. So if you're feeling adventurous, come on up here to the very back of the ship. The sign says we are entering a splash zone. So you can see people can sit and watch over here. It does look like someone's on, this, on the flow rider right now. And there are two flow riders on this ship. Here's another view of that flow rider. And then you do have the wipeout bar. Uh, so there is a bar all the way back here at the back of the ship, as well as a small sun deck. Now on the other Oasis class ships, this is gonna be where you're gonna have that ultimate abyss slide. But up here, no slide, just taken in the sun. 
So the wipeout bar, and then you do have the other flow rider here as well. So again, multiple flow riders. Looks like that's a pro over there. Now something else that's fun and unique on these Oasis class ships is zip lining. So this is gonna be the zip line place where you're gonna to wanna to come and do the zip line. And you will actually zip line across the staterooms, which is very fun. So you see that zip line right up over there. The weight limit is 270 pounds. And then you do have miniature golf up here as well. So um, this is a miniature golf course. It is a little bit outdated. You know, this is a little bit of an older ship. It is called the Allure Dunes. So if you wanna play, uh, play some rounds of miniature golf, that is of course another free activity that is included in your sailing fare. Now we're coming back up around here. You are gonna have two more sets of ping pong tables. So you can see those are being well used right in here. And then this area up here is going to be your teen club. So this is like the sun deck for teens that's enclosed. We're walking around it right now. But it is called the back deck. Um, so that is the spot for teens on the ship. Now we're gonna continue walking here on the pool deck. This little section of the deck is called the view. Now this is just a really cool place that you can come get some shade if you've had too much sun, read a book, chill, and catch some nice ocean views. We're on the other side of the elevator banks. So of course, right through here, you are going to have the elevators. You do have the paddy station here, but so far they have not reopened these. Again, we are here in November of 2021. Um, so the deep diving lessons are not currently happening. You have a men's bathroom over here. So on this deck, the men's bathroom will be on this side. The women's bathroom will be in the opposite place on the other side of the deck. And then this does start the pools. So here is one of the pools. And we'll definitely take a look at every single pool. There's quite a few on this deck. You do have stairs to get up to deck 16. And you're gonna see sets of stairs scattered throughout this deck. Lots of access points to get up to the upper deck. You got some seating areas here. And then of course, up here on my left is going to be the smoking section. Um, so there are a few different smoking sections on the ship. The casino is one of those. It is a, half of the casino is a smoking casino. But up here on deck 15, if you do need to have a cigarette or cigar, you're gonna do that over here on my left. Now you do have a pool bar as well as a jacuzzi up over here. So, you know, by the first pool, jacuzzi, pool bar, smoking section. You're gonna see more stairs to get upstairs, as well as a towel station, and a life jacket station over here on my left. Coming up around here, you do have another pool. There's some live music going on today. It is a party out here on the pool deck. Now this is again something that's unique. You do of course have the pool, but then you have some stadium seating sun loungers, which we've not seen on any of the other Oasis class ships. As we walk around here, you are gonna have two more hot tubs. There are hot tubs everywhere on this deck. And it is nice because you do have these hot tubs covered. But two hot tubs there. Some more colorful seating chairs. And we're gonna to continue to walk straight. Um, and we're gonna to walk towards the solarium, which is gonna be the adults only pool deck. But before we get into there, we do have two additional hot tubs. Now what's cool about these hot tubs is that they actually set over the ship. So when you're looking down, all you see is ocean, which is pretty cool. And then we are going to walk into the solarium. So again, this is going to be the adults only area of the ship. Um, now, as we, before we get into the solarium, there is a specialty restaurant up here that I do have to point out, and this is Samba Grill. This is only found on this ship, and it is a Brazilian steakhouse. Now, during the day, you do have your traditional solarium bistro where you can come in here and it's kind of like quick bites. There is a buffet but then at night it does transform into a Brazilian steakhouse where you can get all you can eat meat. Now 
You do have a towel station right here as you enter into the solarium. And then you are gonna have four different hot tubs, or I guess I guess these hot tubs are, are you can call them two hot tubs or one massive one, but you're gonna have two hot tubs over here, a massive pool in the middle, and then two more hot tubs on the other side. Lots and lots of loungers, lots of great places to sit out and look, take in the views. We are at the very front of the ship now. And then the solarium, what's cool is you do technically have two decks here. I do like the, the water features up here. It's kind of like you've got a moat going around the seating section. And we'll just walk up these steps here to see the upper level of the solarium while we're here. And this is gonna be where you're gonna have that solarium bar. So this is gonna be a bar up here where you can grab a drink. There is an entrance and exit up here as well. You see lots of comfortable loungers, lots of beautiful places to sit. I do like the solarium. It is different from the other solariums on board but it's still nice. And we're gonna take a right here, and we're gonna continue on to the pool deck. So as we walk out here, you do have another couple of hot tubs that hang over the side of the ship, which again, very cool, very unique. They also have TVs up here, which I think is great, because the other night there was a football game on, people were in the hot tubs, chilling, had a drink in their hand, and watched football. You see more stairs going up to deck 16. You do have, again, women's and men bath men's bathrooms on opposite sides of the elevator banks. As we walk up here, you do have another pool and additional hot tubs. And these hot tubs are really massive. Lots and lots of loungers, places to sit. Another hot tub. And then at the end of the pool, you are going to have another bar. So the drinks are really gonna be over here the servers have been phenomenal here on the Allure of the Seas. They're really attentive to bring in those drinks. Now this is technically the sandbar. So on the opposite side, if you remember, we walked past the pool bar. This is the sandbar. More steps to take you up to deck 16. And then you are gonna have your splash pad all the way over here as we walk more towards the back of the ship. Now what is unique about this particular splash pad, on other ships, we've seen just one massive splash pad. But this is kind of, it has a little bit of everything. So you have a hot tub over here, that's normal. You have your splash pad, but then you look past the water features and you do have a pool there. Um, it is a pool that is not quite as deep as the others. Three feet, five inches is as deep as that pool goes. And this is gonna be for the kiddos. Now something else that's interesting, this ship does not actually have water slides. Um, and you do have a kiddie pool here as well. So it's like a whirlpool, which is a lot of fun for the kids. We're gonna walk back into the elevator bank. And this was actually where we started the tour. So this was deck 15. We are now on deck 16, um, and again, we are more towards the aft of the ship. There's an important venue up here that I just want to show you. This is actually where the Windjammer Cafe is going to be. So of course, this is Royal Caribbean's buffet on board Allure of the Seas. If you are coming here, there is an entrance on either side of the ship, so to the Windjammer. And then as soon as you come in, you are going to have a hand washing station to your left. 
So as you walk in here, they do walk you through a hand washing station. So they do of course ask that you wash your hands before coming into the buffet. You're gonna see a lot of different seating areas. You do of course have a Coca-Cola freestyle machine here. <laughs> and then lots and lots of food options um, all throughout. Now I will say this buffet does feel a little, a little tight um, for the amount of people that they have on board. They do have two different stations, one on either side of the buffet area, of course, gluten-free station, and then they do have seating areas that wrap all the way around the buffet area. So again, lots of places to sit. I will say we were a little bit surprised when we came on board and saw this particular windjammer because it did feel a bit smaller than some other buffets that we have seen on other ships and of course like you know this is a mega ship it's a massive ship and can hold upwards of 6,000 guests so the the windjammer may be a little tight for this ship so on this side of course it does mirror the other side so you do have all the different food options on both sides of the windjammer Looks like they're wrapping this one up, closing it down for the day, getting ready for dinner. That's also something that is new. Dinner is now open here on the Allure of the Seas. Um, they've not had the Windjammer open all year for dinner, but they are beginning to open up the Windjammer to guests for dinner. Now as you come out here, you are gonna have bathrooms. So men's and women's bathrooms will be here in the main area of deck 16. We are gonna walk through the elevator bank that we started and we are going to walk outside to the upper deck. So as we come out here, this, is, this deck is going to be primarily a sun deck. So you're gonna see lots of different types of day beds and seating. Now up here on deck 16, you do have two bars, again, that are gonna mirror each other. So everything that we see on this side of the ship, you're gonna see on the other side of the ship as well. So you can see across there, lots of day beds, lots of places to lay out and take in some sun. And then you have a mast bar on both sides. So this is gonna be just a standard bar where you can come and grab a drink as you're soaking in some rays. Get a nice overlook of the pool areas on deck 15. Of course, you got some live music going on right now. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in the Caribbean. Now as we are approaching this staircase up here, that is actually going to be the suite deck. So there is a sun deck that is for suites only. And you can see below here, that is the area up there. So if you are staying in a suite, that's gonna be for you. Now right past the suite sun deck, you are going to of course have the entrance to the solarium. So you do have, we already came up here and saw this, but you do have that upper level of the solarium here. And then through this door, we are gonna have the forward elevator lobby. So we're not gonna walk on the other side of deck 16, because like I said, it does mirror both sides. So that does give you a pretty good idea of what's up here on deck 16. We have made it up to the final deck and that is deck 17. Now up here on deck 17, it is a suites deck. So you are gonna have a lot of different suites on board um, and the venues that are specifically for the suites. Um, so on this side, you do have the Coastal Kitchen. Coastal Kitchen is going to be that dining uh, room for suite guests only. Now, if you are in a junior suite, you do have the opportunity to have dinner here with a reservation only. And if you are staying in a junior suite like we are on this trip, I do recommend booking those reservations early. Let's take a quick little peek in here. You do have absolutely stunning ocean views in this restaurant. The food has been delicious. They do have a full service bar. 
And then on the other side, you are gonna have the suite lounge. Now that is something that's not for junior suites. So if you are in a junior suite, that will not be for you. You've got ladies and men's bathrooms out here by the elevator banks. And then at the end there is going to be that suite lounge. So that's gonna be where you will be able to go if you are staying in a suite here on Allure of the Seas. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you could do us a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Yes, and leave a comment below. Let us know your thoughts. Yeah, we want to hear from you. All right. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, see ya. See ya.